Keshe Foundation, an independent, non-profit, non-religious, space-based organization founded by nuclear engineer Mehran Tavakoli Keshe, is introducing to humanity the science of the universe, plasma science. Keshe Foundation develops universal knowledge in space technologies that provide solutions to major global problems, revolutionizing agriculture, health, energy, transportation materials, and more. The application of plasma science in the form of specially developed plasma reactors and other devices will give humanity the real freedom to travel in deep space. Plasma science exists throughout the whole universe. It is here and it belongs to you. Our knowledge, research, and development regarding the plasma structure has progressed to the point of enabling everyone to participate in the process. Become a creator and understand the work of the universe for the good of humankind on this planet as well as in space. The use of MEGRAVs, nanomaterials, GANs, liquid plasma, field plasma, and other plasma technologies have come as a new dawn for humanity to progress and work in harmony with the universe. Conventional technology applications are wasteful, damaging, and cause pollution to the planet and all living beings. Plasma science provides solutions and improves existing methods and use of resources in all aspects that touch the lives of all beings. Plasma is defined by the foundation as an entire content of fields which accumulate and create matter and is not defined by its physical characteristics like ionization or temperature. Also, with plasma science, we understand how we can convert matter back to the fields. Quoting from Mr. Cash, MEGRAV stands for Magnetic Gravitational, which means plasma absorbs or gives. And every plasma has the both. It has give and it has take. And when they can't find the balance, they distance themselves until they find the balance they can give to the others. That they can receive what they want to receive and give further. Certain atoms and molecules release and absorb magnetic or gravitational fields. Released fields are available to be absorbed by other objects. The Keshe Foundation has developed a way to gather these free-flowing fields from the environment within a resourceful and beneficial new state of transitional matter, which M.T. Keshe named GANs. The first step of the process of the formation of various basic types of GANs is nanocoating metals. This is carried out either chemically by etching, steam coating with sodium hydroxide, or thermally by heating, fire coating by gas burner. During either coating process, gaps between outermost layers of atoms are created. The residual coating is often referred to as nanocoating, defined by the structured layers of nanomaterial, which build up during the creation process of the coating. Nanocoated metal in interaction with other various metal plates in a saltwater solution creates MEGRAV fields. These fields then attract available elements to form a specific GANS, which collects and settles at the bottom of the container. This GANS is formed from independent energized molecules like little suns that can be used in various applications.
Welcome everyone to the 195th Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, October 26, 2017. I'm Rick Cramen, your host for today, and once again, we'll be joined with Mr. Kesh of the Kesh Foundation, and he will uh, be delivering today's um, knowledge in today's workshop, and I think he's ready to go with today's presentation. Uh, Mr. Kesh, are you there? Yes, good morning, good day to you, wherever and whenever you listen to these Knowledge Seeker workshops. As you have gathered as of past couple of weeks and more or less last week, we have entered a new way of teaching, not new way, but going to the next level of understanding. A lot of people were surprised, a lot of people could not understand the teaching in the past two or three weeks, because it's gone to a level of self-evaluation, self-understanding, and then self-trust, that we have the knowledge, we have the power, we have the confidence, we have everything. <clears throat> and now, it's us who's make the decision. As I said in the past couple of days teaching, the transition from the matter state to the power of the soul of the man is one of the most difficult parts for many people. Physicality is easy, we can reach it and touch it. And because we have made these senses, we trust them even though they fool us. Now, we have to trust our soul, we have to trust the Creator of these senses. And this is what we were not educated, this is not what we have never been told. We are told is something imaginary somewhere, but we never stood still to think it's within us, it's us. It's us who makes the understanding of these feelings, it's us who understands, it's us who creates the emotions, it's us who decides, in the interaction of the other fields, with the field of our soul, how to react. This understanding of one's inner being, what we call the soul of the man, will be one of the most biggest revolutions in, in the history of mankind. We had the Industrial Revolution, now this is the Soul Revolution. It's so powerful, that it frightened many people but it's so friendly that many nations, many people of a different line of thinking, will grasp and run with it, because they are the missing dots, the story is complete. Many messengers of the past tried to explain, but man was not ready for it. This time we educated from the base, that now every man is ready for it. There is no gap in the knowledge. There is no point of ignorance. There is no point that we don't understand, that we make somebody else profit to tell us. We become the profit of ourselves. We become the guidelines for the standard of our own work. We become the true essence of the creation, and with it, we understand more. There is no tools. Mankind has not created measuring tools for this to measure his own soul, the power of his soul. The only thing he can do is to, what we call in a simple way, call it a wish, call it my decision, call it I can change, call it I am the creator of the condition I wish. But one thing you have to understand, the wish has to be neutral. The wish cannot be imposing. The decision cannot be that I want it, has to be. Because now, you are in a mosaic of fields. All have to agree. And what is agreed, is your share. Because everything is equal, everything is correct. Everything is according to the understanding of the balance of the fields, of all those who are involved. The wife, the husband, the dog, the house, the trees, the plants, 
and now that we join the universal community, every other entity in the universe has a say in our wish. I like to take your wish. I don't need your wish. I don't need the field to give, because if I take what I do not need, I steal, I'm correct. For man to come to this point of maturity, it takes a lot of understanding. <clears throat> a lot of self-confidence. A lot of knowing the Master is me. A lot of trust in understanding is my soul who runs my life. Not my life, running my soul. We move away from the dimension of physicality, but we use our soul to become physical at any point in the universe as we need. In the universe, there are many nomads, those who lost home due to interaction of the fields of their environment, be the planet, be the space in the universe, be the moon of the satellite, or whatever. Because they never went through the full process of understanding the transition of the soul. In so many ways, they've gone through the process of what you call the spaceship, but they never understood the next level, which we teach here, in so many ways. Many of the human race will become passengers of the spaceships. Because in the spaceship, you create the condition which is relevant to the creation of the amino acid of the man on Earth. In the dimension of the soul, you travel the depth of the space, independent of the origin. Because you understand, you work within the fields of the plasma, not within the field of matter-state of plasma. You give manifestation to yourself at any point, where I lay my head, is my home. Where I sit, where I decide, where I transfer. In so many ways, the writing of Baha'u'llah has its name come into operation. The mutation of element. We mutate to what we want to be. This is a knowledge, at this moment, beyond understanding of the man. But, as we teach, man in time will understand, and then gradually will understand what to do with it. Those who decide to become the man of the Earth, stay within the Earth planet work. Those who decide to become man of the Universe, and travel within the structure of the planet Earth, preset condition of amino acid, will become, will take into the spaceships, some might endeavor a step further. Those who understand the true meaning of the work of the soul of the man, which is itself a star, they become a star within the span of the universe. This time, you decide the position. A moon, a planet, a galaxy, a universe, transmission and transportation amongst the universes, this becomes easy, because now you understand the inner being of the creation of the universe. Not many people will achieve, but many will pass. There are many in the universe who have already achieved that level. In time, man will understand the meaning of these teachings, but we have to teach to set up guidelines. But, on the other hand, those who want to be the passengers of the, what you call UFOs, those who want to be the user of Magravs, or power units, or uh, pain pads, that's the level of their understanding. There is nothing wrong with it. They'll catch up. There is an English say, say, if you don't want to be a tomato, you better catch up. Tomato rots, but ketchup stays as its preservative. So, you have to understand how and where, and to what state, you see the state of your soul. I am happy, within the matter state, I just need a little bit more comfort. I am happy, to be without pain, to be without damages to my existence, without being worried about the shelter, being worried about food, being worried about whatever. You'll find out, with this new knowledge, there is a big problem for governments. Life span goes in two, three, four hundred years. This is known, because now you repeat, 
you replace, you change, you understand the mutation, but you still want to be in the state of physicality. <coughs> the present governments will have a huge problem with this extension of life. We've seen how life has extended with new materials of the past century. Average life span from 40s is stretching to 80s and 90s and 100 in some countries. With the new technology of the GANs, you stretch to 3 or 500 years. It will become known, but the problem for the government is, pension line is 60 years. I work from 20 to 60, 40 years, and the government pays for 400 years for me. You can see the flaw in the structure of the society. It comes to the point, due to the advancement of the technology and what is to be introduced, the death rate will not be there, but the birth rate will be there. We will be productive into two, three hundred years. Many times, a number of offsprings will grow. The population of seven, eight billion will run into 20, 40, 50 mil billion in the coming time, if man does not understand what to do with the new technology. These are for the future governments to sort out. But at the same time, it has to be looked at at this moment of time. New technologies gives access to new dimensions of life. It's us who has to understand it. This is why one of the reasons, in the background, we have set up the new One Nation banking system. This way, everything will set in its own course. It will be looked after according to what it comes. We have to understand what it is, how do we extend life? Where does the mutation come? To what extent we want to mutate? Does the mutation means me to be present at all time? Or does it mean I am present when I want to be? On the other time, I preserve my energy. I preserve that others can survive. I give that I allow through my soul. By giving, I nourish the others, and that's the purpose of my life. In the teaching of last week, a lot was taught, but not many understood. In time, the story of last week, 193, will be understood. 194 will change the course of humanity, once the man understands. Today we try to go in more depth, in understanding the structure of our own soul, the structure of the work of the soul of the man. Those of you who have understood the structure of the, you know, acid, now we to details, more details, because now we had enough time, doctors and those who understood the work have gone deeper, so we can open the path for them, that they can expand their knowledge in a given direction, as they choose. We do not set the course, we teach, it's your decision how to use it. Many of the physicians have already, as I said, start looking in the effect of the soul, and they see, they get different results than when they were working with the matter state of the body of the man, to the matter state of the earth. We need to go in next step of educating, next step of understanding the creation, next step in knowing how we become to be what we are, and how we decide what to become at the point of destination. If you look at the amino acid the structure of the body of the man, is made of four basic elements, which is the gaseous part of the body of this planet. But every planet, every entity, has what you call gaseous, what we call float, field, plasma condition. What it means, it has not changed into a matter state of tangibility, but it has effects that it can change itself to what it wants to be. The oxygen, the carbon, the nitrogen and the hydrogen are in the air. The condition of the environment which we create, on top of, for example, CO2 box, creates a condition of creation of amino acid. What do we do with this amino acid? We add iron to it, it becomes blood. 
we add magnesium to it, it becomes the structure of a planet. Then, we can change different way with it. It becomes red or white flesh. They can mutate it in a way by changing the condition. We become the fish or the cow. Or, we can change it and become life without physical structure, but the field of plasma, which has no attachment to the matter state of this planet, which become what we call the free soul, free entity, above the head of human race in the upper level of atmosphere. If we can live of different strength of it, we become passengers and life within the span of the solar system. If we extend it to understand it further, we become life in the galaxy and in the universe. So, it's the condition which dictates the physicality. And the faster we understand this, the faster we can move on. But, when you collect combination of field strength, and they come to interact, they always create a condition that we call it a common ground, that all can tap into, is like a bank, I have extra money, I put it in the bank, the one who needs it, come and take it, the other one who wants to be in and out, puts it in and take it out, and the other one says, I hold on, I sit in the central bank, and you come and take whatever you like from me, and I give to everyone unconditionally. In the condition of amino acid, the guy who looks after everybody, to be collective, is the oxygen. The guy who is a provoker of releasing the energy whenever it's needed, I commonly release a lot of extra energy in the bank, is mainly nitrogen. But the nitrogen has to give and find a way to deliver that they all can be balanced. Carbon plays a game, but there is a guy who's a spender the young boy in town, who wants to spend as much as he can, he doesn't care where he comes from. That's a game of hydrogen. So, one gives, one takes, one communicates and one holds on to. On this planet, due to the interaction of the fields of the universe, due to the interaction of the fields of the sun and the fields of the earth, leads to creation of amino acid of this planet. Every part of the universe has its own amino acid. Its own level of the creation of life. And what you put in that amino acid, with it, around it, inside it, in this proximity, it dictates what that amino acid is going to change and manifest itself. Then, the amino acid can mutate. The mutation of the amino acid of an environment is the key to the existence, is the key to the life. And then, if it mutates field strength, not matter strength, it can reach the strength of the Creator. What does this mean? The fields of the Sun are free-floating. The fields of the Earth are free-floating. The interaction of the fields of the Sun and the Earth creates field packages, what we call, what our communions, the four elements of life are floating. But, you have to understand there is a variation in the field strength, but the package in the center is of the same. So, you don't have oxygen, you have a plasma, which has had a field bandwidth. The interaction of different bandwidth, creates different amino acids. The creation of different amino acids, in interaction with themselves, lead to creation of new field packages, for those which are free, what does this mean? You have field strength of hydrogen. You have a field strength of oxygen, carbon and nitrogen.
which with the interaction of the field strength of this planet, leading to creation of the amino acid, creates a new opportunity, because there are some other nitrogens and oxygens and hydrogens, which are free, but can fit into the oxygen, but they can't fit into the amino acid. They can fit into the nitrogen, but they can't fit into the amino acid. But the interaction of these two, creates a new field of strength, which attaches itself to it. This is how life has started on this planet. Now you have an amino acid, with sodium. Now you have an amino acid, with potassium. Now you have an amino acid, which collecting magnetic field of it, can be calcium, magnesium, potassium. Look at the structure. You have a hydrogen, one. You have a carbon, you have oxygen, and you have nitrogen. Around about 43, of one level. But in the matter state, we call it the isotopes. Look at the isotopes of this amino acid. 40, 38, 41, 42, calcium, potassium, magnesium. Now you can see, life does not need the matter state of the potassium. The amino acid and the variation of the fields creates fields of magnesium, fields of calcium which the interaction of now this calcium with the amino acid and different strength of these packages of let's say calcium with amino acid or potassium with one of the elements of the amino acid can create a new life. Potassium 40, oxygen 16, you have iron. The magnetic gravitational field of the iron of the Earth, locking to this, gives manifestation to homoglobin. You do not need the body of the Earth to create a condition. Now you understand the mutation of elements. Now you have a new game in town, a new understanding. Now, let's play the game. You have the amino acid, you have the potassium. You have created next to it, in conjunction with another amino acid, and another elements of the package, magnesium, potassium, calcium. Now, you start the process of advancement of creation of life of a higher order. Now, you understand the process of the creation. You do not need the matter state to have the field strength. The interaction of the field of the universe can lead to any life in any position. Now, you have the magnesium which is created out of the interaction of the fields of the universe with the amino acid, which in conjunction with the hydrogen surplus, which is linked to it, and the oxygen, gives it liquidity. The blood you created, hemoglobin field, now has a free flow, which in the world of the man-matter, we call it liquid. Now, you can see, life does not need planet Earth to survive, to be created interaction of the fields in the universe without planet for creation of the condition of life is absolutely normal. Once man understand the mutation of the creation of fields, man moves beyond the teaching of the Baha'u'llah, blesses name. 
and modes in the understanding of the teaching of Buddha. This is the secret of creation. This is the level of the understanding we need to have to be able to travel within the space of the universe. Then, a lot of other teachings in past three years comes into play. A lot of understanding of the past now becomes to bear fruit. You've got to realize, when you created the amino acid of iron in a plasma state, when you created the amino acid of the, let's say, magnesium with amino acid, in a plasma state, in a field state, and now you have the planet Earth, which carries the matter state field of this, and is much bigger, and is much stronger, will feed the weak, and leads to the creation of life. You remember the 129? Powerful source, a weak one, in trying to feed, it creates a flow. And energy absorbed, pushes to the next step. So, life on this planet, was not created because the amino acid touched the planet. Life on this planet, created in the process of transmutation of the fields, of the plasma, of the interaction of the creation of itself, with itself, and with the solar system. Then, if you understand this knowledge, when you go into space, wherever you lay your head, is your home. Because then you work through the field energy of the soul, which is the creation of the totality, then you mutate to the position of the strength of the environment, which you want to be part of. This is one of the secrets of life in the universe. This is why in the teachings in the past, many times I have explained, you do not need planet to exist. You need the interaction of the fields, and many lives exist amongst the universes and planets and galaxies, where the interaction of the fields lead to the creation of the condition, which can manifest itself as an entity of life, without physicality, but the soul that can make decision in what to interact. The soul of the man is that bank, The interaction of that bank, leads to the creation of the physicality. What have you collected in that bank, from the interaction of the fields, that it can show itself in dimension of the physicality, or essence of interaction of the fields in that point of the universe. The teaching goes beyond the understanding of the mutation of elements, it goes to the mutation of the fields of the universe which leads to life in any dimension. This is where the man of wisdom understand the true understanding of the work of the universe. This is why in the past teachings I explained to the physicians, <coughs> work through your soul, understand the work of your soul, then you do not need a pen, and definitely, you do not need the FDA. FDA has not managed to make a standard for the work of the soul of physicians. They can control the powder, the milk, and the water which you give when inject, but not the comment at this moment of time for the soul of the man. And we have to become wise in understanding the work of the fields which we call it the soul of the man, the central bank the principal fields, the black hole, whatever you call it. It's important <coughs> to mutate 
into the position. Those of us who do not understand, will go to space. But, they travel within the fields of the fields of the origin of life. They become travelers of space, and once the Earth goes through the cycle of life, they become nomads of space, as they have no home. If in that process they manage to understand the teaching of past half an hour and past two or three weeks, then they can create a home. They can create where they can lay their head and call it home. Because they understand, in essence, the center, which is the creator, the central bank, what you call the soul of the man, will manifest itself into any dimension. We see many of these souls amongst us on this planet, who have taken home on this planet. We are not alone, we have never been alone, but we are amongst those who understand the work of the universe, but have left it to the human race to mature. And now the time of maturity has come. We have to see the fields interaction. We have to understand what it means to possess the energy of the life of the universe and become the creator of the condition. When I say you are the creator, doesn't mean that you are creating a universe. You create a condition for your own existence that the soul finds its home anywhere in the span of the universe. The knowledge has to come from essence of the interaction of the fields, not from the matter state of the fields. There is a difference, there is a huge difference. <coughs> In nuclear industry, we see these, but we have ignored it, because we never understood it. In plasma technology of the present time, scientists see things, but they can't understand, they ignore it. But now, for the first time, the students of the Keshe Foundation can explain to the leading physicists, what you ignore is the interaction of the fields which you have created inside. But you are looking for a matter state, but this is the field state of the creation. Now you understand why in the teachings I always said, when you start a system, be it the box of CO2, be it the dynamic reactor, be it the interaction of the fields, pray for it. Give from your soul, then it carries the intention of your soul, that's all it is, it doesn't mean that it takes you with it, but it takes from you the, those points which are advantageous and correct, that it can nourish, that it can find life. When you make the spaceships, when you make the fuel for the spaceships, understand the condition of the plasma of the soul of the man, is the controller of the fields of the plasma, of the fuel of the system. My wish is my command. The step of process of understanding will take time, but many of the followers of the Keshe Foundation have reached that point. But they still have to work within the matter state to confirm to themselves that I'm correct. They have not realized that I'm correct without confirmation. The intention, the wish, the creation of condition of the soul of the man, in respect to interaction of the fields of the physicality, and the condition of the fields of the earth, has already made the decision, according to my wish, and manifest itself as me. Those who can go a further step, in understanding of the present teaching, can go very far. Have no fear. Rejoice that you can understand more. Has no doubts, 
put your understanding into test. Use your energy for peace. What does peace mean? It means giving to the soul the level that it can find its balance. It doesn't give so much that it brings its demise, it does not take so much that it makes it not operational, that blocks itself. Try to understand the interaction of the field of your soul with the soul of the others. Then the physicality is irrelevant. For those who work in the world of medicine, for those who work in the work of conversion of the pain and suffering into easiness and comfort and no pain, understand one point. I have within me what my patient has in front of me. This patient can be across the table, in the other city, across the universe. I hear the call across the table through my ear. In the country, by telephone or communication line, in the space through the soul of the existence. I know one thing, if it's from Earth, it carries the same process, the same system as me. It carries a kidney, it's got the liver, it's got blood, it's got heart, it's got lung. If the liver is affected, so I have liver. My liver is combination of the interaction of the fields and it's got the soul. If I can understand that, which I led to its creation, I use mine to transfer the others. You don't need a coil system, you don't need a rotating system, you don't need a patch. Because it's made of the same, I use my soul to elevate the soul. And through it, we elevate the soul of the organ, because I use the soul of mine. For many of you, this is beyond imagination. But this is the true essence of creation, and this is the true way for a physician to interact. Those of you who look for a space travel, understand this, then you create the same condition. As I said in the teaching of Tuesday for rescues, what they are going to do with the relief, getting a ship, getting a boat, getting patches to the islands, this has been done for centuries. Has it worked? Man goes from one suffering to another. But if you can reach through the soul of the man, you give him everything. Remember the say, give a man a fish, you have to feed him all the time. Teach him how to fish. You give him a life all the time. He doesn't need you anymore. These rescue boats, have been the fishes. Teaching the soul, elevating the soul, for those who have been elevated, you have taught them the fishing. We look on the physicality of the house, the warmth of the fire, but we forget that within us, we have created a home, the skin of the man, extended, becomes a home for the family. Understand, my soul is the giver of the totality. I feed through my soul, my fellow man. Go back to teach of Christ, bless his name. This is my body. This is my body.
the flow of the field, the conversion of the fields to matter state. The body of the man. This is the strength of the fields of my liver, through my soul, for you who need the elevation to move on, to change the condition. We have to learn, to have trust in the strength of the fields of our creation. We have to understand, it's us who is the creator of the condition not the condition, the creator of us. And the sooner the man realizes this, the sooner man will be open himself to the universal community. You got to go into a step, that to understand, once I arrived at the point of destination, how do I manifest myself? How do I trust the environment and Many, many nomads of space have not managed to do this. Because they have not managed to go from this to understood the creation of the lift and motion through what you call Maghreb system, to the next step of the creation of the soul and control of the soul for present of manifestation. And they got stuck in these spaceships on this planet or other places in the universe because they have not understood yet, and like the man on earth, they are in the process, and sometimes it takes them millions of years, and sometimes they are enlightened within seconds. Transmutation of the fields into the elements, will bring a new dimension in the work of the man's understanding of the work of human transmutation of the fields into energies that then you create a condition for the manifestation is the new boy in the block. Amino acid interaction with its own element leads to the creation of the cup. which leads to the creation of the physicality of the man. 43, 44, oxygen of 16, gives you the copper status of fields. And, let's say, a couple of hydrogen feed the strength to it. You have zinc, but you never had the matter state. The zinc matter state of the fields of the Earth, now converts this to the Gans state of the same matter. Now you see, you don't need no matter state. Now collectively add, different combination of interactions. You create plutonium, uranium, states of the energy which you call the highest metals, elements, and then keep on going. The mutation will lead you to the strength of the fields of the Creator. Because once it's created, he has to interact. Once it's created, he has to find balance. Once it's created, then it creates a condition to give and to take to confirm its existence. Go step further and understand the flow of the fields within the structure of the body of the man through the soul of the man. How does it work? That it gives man physicality, 
but at the same time gives man the understanding of the mutation of the fields in giving and taking that confirms the existence of the process. What I call the full circle of the winds of the fields of the planet. Consider the Earth creates a gravitational and a magnetical field. The interaction of the fields of the Earth with the Sun has led to the creation of amino acid. The interaction of the pure part, which does not go into the matter state, but stays within the first cycle of the fields of the work, creates the brain of the man. The part which comes from interaction of the second generation of interactions, which is, what was the amino acid? 43 with let's say oxygen or let's say nitrogen or let's say any of the others with interaction of the fields of the planet its matter state leads to the physicality of the body of the man. Now, you have a weaker state, which is combination of the amino acids of the brain of the man. You have an intermediary, which is a higher strength, which is the matter state of physicality, which is the body of the man. And you have the central field, which is the earth itself. The field, the strength of the Earth, going through the structure of the physicality, trying to feed the weaker, as we have seen in the process of the star formation, leads to the flow of the fields, which leads to the creation of giving of the soul of the man. It's a tunnel within the structure. In so many ways, in the past, many scientists have explained them as different chakras. Point of the change, less of the matter state to more of the gaseous state. The bottom chakra to the top chakra. And where there is a field interactions of the organs, change of a step more getting of the fields of the planet, releasing more of the fields of the plasma of the fur, which is the atmosphere, which is the higher order in interaction with the field of the sun. Now you can see the circulation of the field within the body of the man. Now you understand why the soul of the man has a limitation. Because the gravitational magnetic field, the strength of this planet, dictates the control of the field strength at the matter state level. But the soul of this planet itself is dependent on the matter state which was created originally from. So now it dictates the condition of the soul of the man as a stronger than the weaker. But in the deep space, we are not connected to the Earth as such. Further distance, most of the field's interaction becomes weak. At that point, the point of destination creates the condition. And now, you can see how you can evolve into the being of any point of interaction. The field interaction of the soul of the man with Earth will never die, because it was his creator and is always connected. Mutation of the fields 
into matter state and the Gans state and the condition of creation of matter state is the new understanding of intellect for the man. But this time, many have understood will run. They will run with the knowledge and they will change the course of humanity for themselves and for the others who are privileged to be able to receive the knowledge. The process of understanding this new knowledge changes everything of the past. The matter state is the condition I want to be, you shall be. The condition that I want to be in the transition in the spaces of the universe without commitment shall be next choice then comes, would I like to see how I feel if I land on planet Zeus? Would I be amongst the creators? Or would I reach the home of the creator? This is the level of understanding of the man. This is what we have to move to the next step. This is the teaching of Messiah. Freedom from physicality. Freedom to be able to live on condition and at peace. Freedom to give every being to be in that position that they can elevate and decide on their soul. This is a true peace. Not a physical term, but bringing the soul to be at peace with the condition he has accepted. Be it in the villages of Africa, or the backwaters of New York. It's all the same. A tramp in Washington has the same soul as a president inside the White House. the same soul as a black man in Africa, and the same as the man in Mexico. The same soul structure as the President of China, and the same with the rest of us. It's us who has to be, to understand the strength of our soul, and how we have frogged it. Peace has to come, when the soul can manifest itself to serve, and not to be closed. Be in that tunnel of the fields, which absorbs from the universe or the planet, that it become a terminal, a point of giving to the others for them to elevate. Become the tool of progress through this peace, through understanding, that I become in, what we call English, a path to give for the others to elevate. Understand the transmutation of the fields of the universe, then you can become anything in the universe. Understand the interaction of the fields during the transmutation, then you can produce anything in the universe. You can create condition that the rain gold. You can create condition that the rain is acid. You can create a condition that within the flow of the liquid of the existence of the fields, what we call blood, it can run with any element of the universe, as long as the soul receives what it needs. 
and it can elevate itself. The process of the mutation of the fields has nothing to do with the matter-state interaction. But the matter-states create that field that it creates to the floor of the field. You can give it, or you can take it. Give it, you call it acidity. Taking it, you call it alcohol. Come closer, you take more. Go further, you take less. Come closer in the right direction, you be giving more. And move away, you will be taking more, but giving less. For those who work in the space technology, if they understand this, understand the matter state is irrelevant as the container is the body of the man and the soul is the giver the space travel of the future will not work on the engines but it works on understanding the soul and the operation of the soul that creates that engine of the universe. Those who joined the Mojan program were taught, but many of them never understood. In time, they'll mature. They need the time to mature. Because the step gap it's the time to mature for those who are ready to become the true motions of the space. But they don't see it. Wisdom of a teacher is the teaching of the right, but allowing for the student to understand, to mature, not to force. No punishment. Time of growth and maturity is needed even for many of the knowledge seekers. You look at the interaction, I can sell you water, but it'll work hundred times better than CO2. You create or the cans of sink, because in that water which you carry, carries my intention of giving, and by buying or taking the package, you decide, where I want to place the wish. A patch on the pain, or a patch on the head, or the emotion. I want to use it, to increase the fields, from your soul, to interaction with my soul, that you understood my pain, to the little muscle tissue in my neck, which needs my attention. I have ignored it. Position of a space become the true man of the universe because they do not need the core and the coil, they need the essence of the creation within their soul. Teachings from now on we brings a lot of rapid maturity to those who understand. My wish is peace. A lot look at silence in the guns and finishing with the arms. But the true essence of my wish is a piece of the man in his soul that with it he'll never manufacture the gun. He will never thought about fighting. Because it transmutes my emotion to the interaction of their fields to their emotion. The stronger changes the weaker. The wish of peace within me is so strong, that it will feed anyone. Then they elevate. It has its time, and it has its space. There are many aggressive fields in 
this planet. And they're all gradually receiving. Talk, voice, smell, sight, feeling of environment, is all part of the attributes of the soul of the man, which itself has converted itself to the physicality of the man. A made man in the image of myself. With a soul, I can smell what is needed. With a soul, I can touch another soul's field, see where is the suffering. With a soul, I can reach and see how beautiful the other soul is. I do not need the eye of physicality. I do not need the arm of the man to touch. If you can touch and feel something, remember, I made man in the image of myself. So, the soul can touch and feel. And he has converted that essence in interaction with the field of this planet, in interaction with the essence of the amino acid, which created the physicality, to convert and convey its field strength into the matter state. Then you can see how you can change everything by understanding the work of the soul, the strength of the soul, to any sense which you feel. In time, one will come to understand many more senses, not only five. Because the work of the soul of the man does not rely on five, it has many more. But, now that we come to the man of space, we create new words for these emotions, these feelings, new understandings. The process of the mutation of the fields, is the ultimate understanding of the creation. then the interaction of the mutation of the fields lead to the creation of any matter in the state of the universe. On Earth, we need water. Being of the universe, water is poison to them. But they still need liquid of life. It could be whatever. When you create the fields and you provide the fields, they convert it as they need it. It's the same with the physicians of today. Once they understand, you see through the soul of the man better than X-rays and MRIs. You see, and you fly, through the soul of the man, better than any aircrafts or UFOs. It's the captain who has to create the condition. It's the physician who has to be able to understand the work of the fields. It's the man itself who has to understand, has the capability that become the pilot of itself and the physician of itself. Then, the four or five hundred life time here, multiples, into four or five thousand. What am I going to do in this time? Once you become wise to the wisdom of, of the life of the universe, you become the giver. You become the hungry soul that travels the span of universe, who needs I'm here to give. will be so busy, that the five thousand is not long enough. 
there are too many need and too many changes. This is why in the past talk, I explained about the fertile land of creation of new souls of the planet Earth. Now you understand the purpose of the human race. Those who understand, they elevate to the totality. But this time, many, many more will do in one soul cycle. Understand and understanding are two different things. When you understand, you have to comprehend. When it's understanding, it becomes pattern of life. The process of mutation of the fields is what man has to progress to. Maybe we make systems to show it, Maybe we use men to show it. If the physicians of today reach the point of maturity, that is, every man is a physician of itself. And if you saw how, for example, putting three reactors leads to creation of the matter state of copper or zinc, when these souls stand next to each other and create the interaction of the Sun and the Earth, the field friction of the souls of them can lead to the creation of life without the interaction of physicality. So be the child of the soul of the man. Many, many people keep on asking the question of the Virgin Earth. I have explained different teachings, different way. Maybe now one understands there is billions of virgin Earth at any time in the universe. Go back to the teaching, read the books. Fundamental elements conversion, what you call neutron, to electron and proton. But the electron is the new birth. And the proton is the mother. The science of the past could not be explained to man, but it was hidden in a way that the man could understand. Creation of life, a new life, out of the interaction of the fields of the universe with life, not the physical intercourse that the man sees as a man and a woman. the creation of the life through what you call virgin birth is the cycle of the life in the universe. The scientists call it splitting of neutron to electron and a proton. In the holy books they call it the virgin birth. It's a new cycle, it's a new life and it's possible in anywhere in the universe. In the holy books, they call it the Adam and Eve, by the spear or by the rib of the Adam. Methodically or mythically, the only thing now the scientists now can explain, is the division of the neutron into itself and its child, what we call it. Energetic or active, more dynamic than the source, so is the woman compared to the Adam. Multitasking, more understanding, because it came from the essence of the creation. New life, new generation, new cycle in understanding the totality. We don't preach now we teach the science on the edge of creation. And to many, at this moment, they sounds foreign, because they never understood the beginning. You never understand the story of a movie. When you walk in, 
halfway in the middle. You gotta go back to the beginning to understand what the end is. And this is the way many, many men will try to come in. They never been, never understood the beginning. Now the rest is meaningless. They just have to sit and watch. With the teachings of past years, we took you back to the beginning of the movie. Or actually, the end to be shown at the beginning, that you can see what will come at the end in the true end. How the cycle was developed. How the cycle will go to be developed and how man can produce anything through his soul and interaction of the another field with itself. Then, if you understood this, then if you put many of these virgin birth together, you have the mutation of elements, or what you call hydrogen, the helium, interaction of the fields to copper and gold and elements which man call it exotic because he never understood the true sense of it because man entered in the middle of the movie of the universe and creation of everything being there but not understanding where it came from. Now we understand the full process. Now, we become the true man of space. Those who want to stay and work within the fields of the universe, will become the new students of the knowledge seekers. During the process of the teaching, even today, we speak the word that the ear can hear, but we teach to the soul that we can reach those who have not the internet or cannot hear. That the love of the Creator shines and rains upon all on this planet, not only those who sit and listen. This is the true way to teach, and not by voice. You have to become the same. For those who listen through the ear of the man, if understood, will listen through the soul of the man. And then you progress to the next level. There are many levels in progressing to become part of the soul of the Creator, that then the knowledge of the man or being becomes the transmutation of the element of the Creator to the physicality of the time and the space. For those who understand and can create the opening, what I call the field flow within their soul, they will look inward, that they see the light, not outwards, to see the physicality. By seeing the light, you become part of the light, and the physicality becomes irrelevant. But the interface between the light, or the creation, or the line to the Creator, needs the interaction of the physicality to show its dimension, and its size, and its position. So, one works in both dimensions of the soul, understanding its field interaction, which leads to his physical, physical manifestation. There is no shortness of time. There is a lot of need for understanding the true essence of the knowledge of the work of the universe. Those of you who will go to test to understand, have to be humble enough to be the weak, but knowing you're strong enough, that in other steps you become the strongest. Then, men of knowledge, you can stand 
on four mountains. And through the soul of the man, feed the whole city below you. This is the true knowledge. This is where the hunger eradicates, where there is no drought, where you don't need to create dynamic machines to elevate the soul, but you understand the need of the soul, you become the process of the feed, to give without needing to be present. The span of the universe becomes zero communication time, transfer of the fields on the path of the connection of the need. There is a lot to understand. There is a lot to be able to understand how from a hydrogen you can lead to gold. There is a very old Persian proverb. It says, Gersab Koni Zehore Halwa Halwa is sweet. Hore is a sour grape at the first stage of grapes. It means, if you allow me the time that I can mature, I can create you what you like to have. But it depends on you. You have the time to mature. You have the essence to grow into the understanding of the work of the universe. Some of you will eat the grapes, because you don't have the time. But some of you, if you allow the grape to mature, will create enough sugar, that you can use it to create, to mix it with the flour, to make the halwa that is so sweet. You cannot even take more than one or two spoons of it. This is what we got to understand. This is what the man has to mature into. This is what the soul of the man has to mature into. Because the physicality will not allow it, because then he has no essence for confirmation of his existence. The biggest enemy of the man is the physicality. The sooner the man understands, that he can elevate his physicality to be part of his soul, then the man becomes free from the shackles of life. Then the life cycle is unlimited. There are a lot of in-depth teaching in today's teaching needs a lot of maturity, needs a lot of understanding through essence of the creation. It needs to understand that you can use the knowledge to become the tool of peace for other souls without actually being part of physical operation of the peace. This is what those of you who understand, will use to reach the world leaders, that there is no need for arms, there is no need for conflict, when there is this peace at the soul of the man. When there is understanding that I can have what I need, is the strength I didn't know I need to have. In one understanding, you look for the fire to keep warm in the cold. If you understand that the interaction of the fields of your soul with the interaction of this field, of the soul, of the elements of your physicality, can create so much heat, that you will not be able to stand. Or, 
the creation of the fields from the soul of the man, with the environment, at the strength of the given wish of the man, one meter, twenty meter, can create the heat in that envelope. Now, do you need the tree to cut, to burn? Do you need to burn what you call the oil, which itself is, I mean, acid to destroy more lives, to benefit out of man? Then, do you need to consume another body, where the interaction of the fields of your soul, with the environment of existence, will feed you enough, that it feeds the physicality. I wish you could understand. There is no need to kill, to survive. The soul of the man, with the interaction of his environment, is the feeder of the man. And man has never understood. In so many ways, in the past, in a hidden way, I have tried to teach, but nobody understands. And they keep on telling me, why do you keep on saying you don't understand? Because truly you haven't understood the work of the work of the fields. When I explained that you can hold your hand, and by transfer of the energy of your soul, with the interaction of the fields of the soul of the elements of your entity, you can create all, any matter you need. Then you understand, the creation of the physicality was part of the essence of the creation that the soul sees its own strength, and the soul understand the operation of the universe. But the man took it totally the wrong way. The interaction of the fields of the universe were for the benefit of the man, not for the destruction of the planet and another life. Try to test your soul. Not to see physically you can do change, but try to see, test yourself, how much you can give to elevate. Elevate the soul of anything. that is in peace, that becomes to point of peace, becomes, we call it a peace, but in reality is the balance of the fields, to create a condition of existence, continuous existence, without taking from the others, for them to lose their life. Once you learn this process, in a space, man will never look for war. Man will never look for conflict, but become a giver. And then, you understand the purpose of life in a space. We have not come to teach to make man a spaceship. We have come to teach to make a spaceship out of the soul of the man, to become the rescue point for those who need the span of universes. This is the true understanding. This is the true purpose of the teaching. The nursery of the universe is very much 
a virgin birth. Continuously expands and divides and leads to the creation of new life in the nursery of universes. And the souls who mature become what we call the guardians and the nannies which needs to be there to give for those to mature. As I said before, now many of those who understood, understand the purpose of life on this planet, and many others. It needs, what you call, a carer, we call it a mother, to feed, to nourish a baby into a child, and to and the soul of the man, once mature in peace, becomes that mother in the span of the universe. There is a purpose for life on this planet, and man has not understood. There is a purpose for creation, and man has not understood. It's got entangled in physicality, and then, creation of false people. Now it's time to clear all this and move into the next step. It's time to understand that the soul of the man is the interaction point between itself and the universe and not the village of Earth in the term of physicality. Now, one might understand why life is created to be the nursery for creation of the field of the soul, that in turn they become the mothers of the universe. There is nothing more precious than a mother, as is the creator, as is the nourisher, as is the feeder, as is the guardian and the teacher. Try to understand the work of the soul. Not by pretense, but by true understanding and by the motion of the field. Then you understand. As long as the wish to eradicate and move and develop another soul, you will see the beauty. But understand it, even if it manifests itself in another pain, another suffering, but understand why. Because from that point, you have to mature to understand it. Rick, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you, Caroline. I see ah, you. Yeah, so I see you guys dropped out. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. He will come back because I thought I dropped out. <laughs> yeah, you both did. I thought it was what they call a pregnant pause there, you know, the dead air time just... Uh, Rick, are you wishful thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of time to. <laughs> yeah, I thought Mr. Keshe was giving us time to reflect there, as they say. Yes, so I was trying to think. What was that last thing he said that we should really pay attention to? 
And what was the last thing that was said so that we can remind him when he comes back? Any, anybody remi uh, remember that verbatim? Or close enough? Well, I'm sure he'll pick it up where it needs to be when he comes back in. Very much. Hello. Thank you. you. No, it's okay. I'm back in one. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you clearly now. Yeah, right. yeah I think it was a coffee break. I've just been brought a express. So the machine knew it has time to stop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last sentence that we understand is uh, you said something about you will understand why there is pain and suffering yes God didn't want you to hear that part <laughs> so you're not time for it in so many ways the the process of this teaching is not to have a workshop, but is to have the knowledge how to work. That the life of a man becomes a shop that everyone can walk in and take what they need. The soul of the man becomes a provider. In so many ways, we need to understand the purpose of the creation in the essence of this creation. It's nothing as nice as say Italian English, uh, Italian Express. He wakes you up. The whole work of the universe is to understand the interaction of the fields. What it needs to be given, that it extends life. What it needs to be taken, that allows, literally allows the, what we call in English, clogging or blocking the flow of the fields away from another entity, that it can live the life, that it can flow freely. That there is no, what we call, stopping, or blocking. In the physicality of the man, when these changes come, we call it diseases. How many of you have ever looked, when there is a disease, to look in the soul of the man, and see where is the blockage in the soul of the man, in the emotion of the man, to move that storm, to move that blockage in the soul, and instantaneously the physicality will respond. This is what the purpose of these teachings are. For man to become the physician of the soul of the universe, then man becoming a doctor of the physicality. For us to progress to that step, needs to understand, we don't need to sacrifice nothing. It's just that we need to understand everything. The lack of knowledge in us about the work of our soul has been translated into sacrifice, into pain, into suffering, where there is need for none and it doesn't exist in the span of universe to those who have understood. I am a lover, I give. But, for me to love, there is a need for a recipient. But that recipient has to be clear and it's got no blockage that it can receive and can transmit to the next one who might need. 
So, I am the tool. And many times, in the past, the tools have been changed in name, for whatever reason, to suit one. There is no clairvoyancy, there is no magic, there is no profit. It's totally understanding the work of, the function of, the operation of one soul. Then, man is free. It's us through the lack of understanding, which has put the shackles on our own ankles and the feet, of the work of the knowledge of the universe. But in fact, we are free. There are no prisons for the soul of the man, and no handcuffs, and no shackles. We have to understand, and test it. Test it, stand, you look, you put three, four dynamic reactors next to each other, to create gold. Stand three or four, men of peace. And understanding that the gold is a solution for the greed of the man, and will rain gold amongst you, while you're standing in the room. Your soul is so dynamic, it's you who has to create the condition. This has you to create, to use the soul of your elements of your physicality, for another soul. These are all the reality which man has to open his eyes to. Because now it only works at the field strength of the matter state. Now, you can work at the strength of the fields of the universe, that is above, so matter states become irrelevant. Teaching oneself the true knowledge and understanding that it's time to rejoice, to understand the new knowledge, is no shame. It's the addition to the knowledge of the present time. To understand the totality, start with the small steps. And graduate yourself to the University of the Knowledge of the Universe. No one will give you a degree, and no one will give you anything more or less, except the pleasure that you become a lover. Lover of life, in every point in the universe, which means giving unconditionally for that life to elevate. And then, start understanding the smallest principles. Try to understand and bring all the teachings we've done together now, and transmute the knowledge of matter-state into the field state. Understand every step of the conversion of the fields. Understand every conversion to what it gives in the field strength, not in the matter strength. Then, understand is me who's the giver and the creator of the field. So, I have to be correct to you, that the ones I want to receive, they don't have to miss, or to convert, they receive it as they need it. When it rains, we drink the water, when it rains, the plant takes as it needs it. 
when you because through it, it creates for itself the condition of life. It's the same rain. It's the condition and the entity which decides how to use it. So it should be the soul of the man. Rain, peace and love, and with it, you give life. When the life is given, there is no strength. When you are thirsty, you do anything to get your hands on the water to survive, even to kill. When it rains and it's freely, you don't have that pain, you don't have that suffering. And when you have too much of it, you give a cup to the next one who is hungry and thirsty. That's what you should be. That's what you got to learn from the operation of the soul of the man. That's why one has to clear the clocks and the stones in the path of the one soul to be able to give the totality. This is why you have to start testing yourselves. Slowly, because you are so materialistic as a man that you have to see something, don't sit there and try and look in the palm of your hand, say, if I have water, I can give to the thirsty man, and see, you create water in the palm of your hand. And then, you can put your hand in front of the man who is thirsty. If your wish in the palm of your hand is peace, that there will be no killing, you feed it to the soul of those who do. This is not any more fairy tale. This is understanding of one responsibility in respect to his soul and his confirmation of his existence. This is where we are going. This is why there is no laboratories and there is no more dynamic cores and there is no more coils. That's for those who are trapped in that cycle of life. For those who elevate to the next step, you become the Messiah. You become the giver that the others can save and live a life without obstruction. In their physicality, you call it diseases. In their emotion, you call mental condition. In their souls, that they cannot elevate themselves. Now, The nano coating, the gas making, the coil making, the dynamic cores, their effects, the energy, their fields, all has come within the structure of the man's body. Now you see what we have made of you. The nano coating is your skin. The Gans is the body of the man. The dynamic reactor that it creates, that hollow center, which is the essence of the creation, is the soul of the man. Now you understand. Use that Gans to become a pain patch to the pain of one man, or use the soul to feed the soul of another, that solves the physicality of the pain of another being. When it's a patch, you have to put it on the physicality. When it's a dynamic core, you can put it across the universe. But it reaches the same point. Then, split the attributes of the Creator, then you understand, if you are dealing with the physicality of the patch, 
if you are dealing with the Gans of the fields, or if you are dealing with the field of the dynamic core, which is the soul of the man. Then you understand how easily you are well educated in the work of the universe and you never knew it. You created prophets to tell you how that patch has to react with the other patch you call the human beings not to steal and not to kill. Or now you become the creator of the messenger that you give unconditionally that the body itself through its soul decides what it needs and does not depend from outside to be given in the physical time. The knowledge is complete. It's the maturity of the soul of the man which has to bring the transition. It's the maturity of the understanding of those souls who have been touched to transfer the knowledge for the others to elevate to their self, to that level. The understanding of the, all these workshops, what is life? Except a dynamic field in a collection of a box that we call it the brain of the man, or another entity who works on the same function. We need the casing for it to confirm its existence. We call it the brain of the man. It's like having an element inside a kettle and holding the kettle in their hand to see if the element works and the water gets heated up. Then there is electricity, then there is a flow. That flow has to be the field through the soul of the man, that by its radiating, warms up the environment and gives the warmth and comfort to the man who holds it out of the cold, through his physicality. He doesn't need to see the element. He knows it's radiating and soon the water will boil and the kettle is warm, that I can hold, that I can forget about my physical suffering. This is what the cycle is. This is what we need to understand. This is the reason we teach and we talk this way. It was like, making the wine. He needed to bring the grapes to let it mature to become the wine. The grapes was uneducated soul of the man. Now we have taught it, it has taken time. Now has to become the sweet wine. This is what the essence of teachings have been. And now that many more I start understanding, we teach more in the interaction of the soul of the man in the universe. In understanding the conduct of the souls in the universe. In understanding the language of the soul in the universe then, wherever you land, you communicate in that language. You don't need to go to school to learn English, or to go to learn Spanish. You land in the Spanish environment, you will speak Spanish, because you understand the soul of the environment. This is why we created Universal Council. Because, then the soul of the man will travel and manifest itself, without needing to learn the language, because in that environment, 
but we come across the language of the soul. The Universal Council is not called the Earth Council. It means understanding the language of the Universal. At any point that you manifest yourself. This is what the teachings are. Is no more prophecies, is understanding the operation of the fields. But where you don't understand, go and set up the course and try to understand if you are so materialistic that you can convert it. But don't get shackled down to the course, understand the fields of them, understand how the fields interaction leads to creation of dynamic soul, dynamic fields, that the interaction gives the condition. Those who always look at their physicality, will have a long way to go. Those who look at the interaction of the fields, they reach very fast in the position and the condition. The Education of the soul of the man is much easier than the education of the physicality of the man. To understand the emotion of the soul then gives man the fields of the physicality. The one who goes and lies to get what he wants, then through his own lying in what he lied, will receive the condition of his own, according to his physicality. So, when you go and you say, I'm damaged because of this, just to get something, you'll become too damaged by the same thing. And it's more painful than where you started with the lie. In what you came to achieve, become the noose around your neck for what you have done with it. In many of the teachings, I give many examples. Now maybe some of them comes to understand. Some of you come to understand exactly what it means. Try to understand the operation of the fields of the soul of the man, which is you. Try to understand the operation of the soul of your physicality, which is the condition of the environment. And try to understand the interaction of the with two, with the condition of the fields of the environment, from the physical structure of the environment, which you call the emotion of the man. The emotion is the conversion of the interaction between the fields of the soul of the man, and the environment of the physicality soul, and the condition of the environment which has created that condition. How do we react? It does not need to be a planet, it's another man, it's another being. The interaction of the field of the soul of the man, with the interaction of the fields of the physical dimension of another entity, gives you the joy gives you the pain, gives you the suffering, gives you the elevation of the soul, to give more. So, now the condition is not just the Earth, which has created the condition of the emotion of the joy, but the condition of the existence of the field of another entity, in respect to you in respect to the fields of the soul of the man's motion, within the structure of the physicality of the man. 
we feel the joy of our child thousands of kilometers away and you call says i feel you're happy what's going on he says papa how did you know because now the dimension of physicality is like the center of the earth which creates its fields when you feel the earth now that earth is your child now that earth is another being in the depth of universe which you feel now you understand where the emotion comes from now you understand the emotion is reflection of the feel the strength of the man and understanding of himself of the strength he carries in respect to that field This is the progress, this is how you interact in the space. Interaction of the fields of the environment, with the interaction of the field of the soul of the man, gives the feeling of the man, the emotion of the man. The creation of the condition to feel, to understand, don't need to see. Because now, the environment itself has created that brain. The physical brain of the man in the space, as we have it, once you come to a different strength, amino acid level of, let's say, higher nitrogen, would not exist anymore. Now, the interaction with the other entities, which creates a condition of interface, becomes the position of the soul of the man's emotion. Now you understand, man can exist in the universe without physicality. I wish you would understand. Then you become the true man of space. Then you understand, so many times I say, ashamed to be in the body of the man, because he carries nothing but pain and the condition of physicality, which is his need for. ages, becomes pain, sees death, and sees suffering of the others. Try to understand in the deep of depth of the space when you travel, how the other entity wants you to be, that it is at peace, that with it, you find peace, not peace for you that he forces on him to change his position. Don't be a magnet which you put in this set of magnets to force the others to move, but position yourself that to stay at the point of comfort. It's you who has to position yourself. This needs a lot of understanding. This needs understanding the depth of the knowledge of the creation. This needs understanding the total attributes of the Creator. Which is you. You need to look inward to understand the operation of the Soul and looking outwards to see its physical manifestation after it's been interfered, tempered and mishandled by other fields which we call the emotion. Physicality reflects the emotion from what is received from the source in interaction with the fields of the environment of the others. Now, you understand the emotion. Is there a need for physicality to suffer, or create a suffering, or is there a need to understand the fields which created that emotion? Then now, you can make tools that eliminate that field strength, or in a way increases it to become to acceptable field. Cry to joy.
to laughter. This is what our body does. It converts emotion, because it understands the feeling of the soul, not the feeling of the physicality. We go through these transitions in our physical life. From laughter we cry, and frying we, and crying we turn into laughter. There's nothing better than this, to understand the feel of the interaction of the soul of the man, with the interaction of the field of the environment, and then measure it. Then, you don't need to be an actor to pretend, you become the giver to create a condition that is always laughter. These are part of the development of the soul of the man, we have to understand. Then in the space, no one becomes a Guru, no one becomes a Prophet. Because there is no hope, nothing for prophecy, but understanding the steps. Understanding where the losses are, which create a condition, or where the gains are, that it promotes, elevates the others. We have to step up. We have now that we understand the teachings, to go to the next level, to understand the work of our soul not the physicality of the matter, to confirm the existence of the soul. We cannot put a value and measure on the soul of the man, because all the souls have the same capability to achieve a full maturity. Maturity is not to grow, it's to understand. Maturity is to be able to give uncondition of what I might receive, because I cannot give if I do not receive, and I receive enough to give. But till that time that the full human race matures, we will still be making the factories, the ganses, the dynamic systems, and one day they say, do I need this? There is no need for a spaceship, if man understands the knowledge. He can travel the space of the universe at zero time. There is no need for man to be hungry, where you can reach to the strength that he receives, what the hunger is, and the need of receive of energy, and you give and you teach, till he learns to feed himself. There is a problem, and the reality is, there is no problem. It's just maturity of time, maturity of science, maturity of understanding one's operation of life in this planet, on this planet, in the space, on the space surface of the solar system, the galaxy and the rest. Trying to mature very rapidly, because those who mature, will try to take the step, as they are the prophets of the present time, and they are as foolish as the others. We've seen many around the Foundation, who come and understood a bit, and claim to be, out of arrogance of never ever hiding anything, so now I confirm I exist, I have to deny the rest. Try to be humble, Try, in learning, not to force, but to share, that those who understand, will become. Become part of you, become with you, they become as you, and then we can progress. The biggest sacrifice, is one understanding of his own value and his strength. Then, you know what you have to give to a job. You got to experiment. Experiment with the fields of yours. Your own soul, and your own physicality, and the interaction of the soul of the physicality, 
with the soul of the man which is within you. And then you mature, test, change. I give you an example. And for those who understand this, then you have really matured. Take your fish from a ball and put it on your hand. And see for how long you can let it live. Because you give the energy it needs that it takes from the oxygen of the water which comes from the interaction of the fields of this planet, that now you become the sun and the planet. And you can hold life for years in your hand. Has been done. And it's so easy. Because at the end of the day, that water was a source of energy to confirm existence to carry on. Now you understand the fish you give. The first time might be a few minutes, the next time a few more minutes. But you have to tune into it. But don't lose the life of the fish. You don't get it right, put it back in and try to understand. Hold the sick animal in your hand and see if you can revive it and can walk off. Then, it's just not accidentally. It means you have reached the point of maturity of giving. Because the animal takes only what it needs and no more. You can't make a goldfish to become the size of an elephant. It takes what it needs to maturity of the size which has been predetermined for its existence by itself. Then, you can hold the human race in the palm of your hand and guide them through till they are mature to exist without pain. Try to understand more about the functioning, the operation of the fields within your own environment, within your own body. I do many of this, so you have to do the same. How you can change people, how you can bring peace, and it only has to be in the positive direction. That it means they take what they need, does not matter what the intention, because if the intention is wrong, it will change, because in fact the soul has decided, not the emotion. As I was telling my son, the interaction of the fields of the soul of the man, and the interaction of the fields of the environment, it's like a Chinese whisper. The soul always sends the same message. It's the end message which has been interfered with by those who fits the condition which is the emotion of the man. Try to understand, feel the strength, not the matter strength. The ganses and the plasmas was for you to show the feel the strength they create, not for you to use them as a point to see what it can be done. Those who are stuck at this point will not elevate, and in so many ways they create their own demise, because they don't allow their soul to show the true strength of its manifestation. You need to teach the work of the fields of the universe to your soul, not the essence of the end product, which after so many Chinese whispers within the emotion of the man become the cancer, becomes the suffering, becomes the pain. 
the prime receiver of a misconduct of the emotion of the man, is the physicality of the man from his own soul. Try to understand how you have created the condition truly in what emotion in the interaction of the souls of your physicality in respect to the soul of yourself within the brain of the man and then you will see. Try to understand how, for example, one gets a brain tumor. Isn't that the point where there is a field interaction difference? Where instead of being in the field plasma condition, now you have created a matter condition plasma, which you call it the seat of the tumor. Then change the condition, there will be no tumor. It's the same with the man. Man has to understand the strength of the fields, which he has converted into the matter state condition in the Gans plasma of the body of the man. Then, if you change it, the dilution changes. It's like having a solid sugar in a cup of water, which is the body of the man, and now you heat it up, you give it more, it dilutes, there is no crystals. Now it become part of it. It's no cancer. Now it's all part. The true physicians of the future, when they see cancer, they don't get for chemo or backup systems or whatever. Through the emotion, they saturate the need of the soul of the man that the tumor is not, has no reason to exist. It becomes diluted in the field of other strength. It's the same with those who try to manifest themselves in the dimension of the spaceship of their own body in the space of the Try to understand the work of the fields of your soul. Then you become true man of the universe. Then what we said, you become part of the universal community. Because now you understand the work of the universe. You become a physician when you've been to the university and you've been educated in the work of the body of the man. Now become the physician of the soul, your own soul and nobody else. Then you understand how physicality is the cause of the demise of the soul. Then, if your decision is to change the soul or spread the soul that you don't want in one entity, you bring them the demise of the soul. But if you look in the death of the physical man, you become the seed of the soul in the no dimension of physical life. So, in fact, the one who commits suicide or the time when the man dies, it becomes the seed of life. But it has to be with the agreement with the soul of the physicality. This is why suicide, self mutation, has been forbidden. Because it doesn't give you a path to freedom, it brings the shackles to the physicality soul of the man's essence of the soul of existence. And there's a big difference. There is a huge difference. We got to understand the process. We got to understand to walk away from physicality, but, maybe some time use the physicality to confirm the correctness of our understanding and progress. Try to be open to understand, but try not to put restriction on the new understanding. Try to be able to understand how fields work and not to connect it to the matter state. This is the problem I see with a lot of knowledge seekers. They see something in the strength of the field, but to confirm it, they have to find a matter state of it to show something. And this is where your problem comes. 
be confident in what you've done is correct, then you carry on. Then you see, if you need to see to confirm you're right, otherwise you're right, because you have already thought of it, you have put the energy into it, and it has already manifested itself. Teaching one's soul's work is very difficult. But seeing the emotional effect of the work of the soul is very easy. Because, always go back, I made man in the image of myself. If we have a pain in a physical existence, so, it has to exist in the dimension of the soul. And what is the pain? It's when there is obstruction, when you cannot give. That's why you have a pain in a physical life. There is obstruction, there is something wrong. But in the level of the soul, it's the giving which creates that. Not the physicality of the soul. In the interaction of the fields. Many times, I see confusion between the two, or not understanding. Try to be open in your own intelligence, that you don't need anybody else to confirm it, or anybody else to dictate it, and anybody else to become a Guru, to confirm that you achieve what you achieve, but I tell you what you achieve, not you understanding yourself. You become the Guru of yourself, but don't become arrogant in understanding, become more humble, that you can understand more, to give to teach the others to understand what you understood. I would like to call it a day, and I try to bring more insight into your understanding. Mr. Keshe, good morning. Excuse me, Anza. Uh, can I finish? Because I'm exhausted. No. The process... Somebody's microphone is open. The process of understanding one soul is the process of being transparent to one soul itself. Trying to be open to understand the operation of different strength of the soul. Soul emits a variation, a spectrum of fields, not one field. If you see you need more energy to feel happy, so happiness needs higher strength. If you see you need not much to be joyful, in respect to the condition of the soul, of the emotion, of the physicality, then you start marking it. In this process, you progress. In this process, you will understand the totality of the work. You don't need no one to confirm, you don't need no one to, to become your Guru to teach. Then in space, when something shows you, some entity shows you something, you don't say he's God, he says, teach me. I want to understand, because I understand part of it. This way, there shall be no profits. Then you progress. This way you elevate yourself, this way you continuously evolve in the right direction. This is why we teach. Teachers do not become gurus or prophets. They become friends who share unconditionally. Those who want to see the friend to be as the same as theirs. We are here to serve, not to be served. We are here to teach, to share, that the soul of the man reaches the elevation of the soul of what you call the prophets or the messengers or the true essence of the standards, or the level of the soul of the entity. Try to evolve in 
understanding the fields and if your wish is to be in a spaceship, you'll change your physicality to the spaceship of the universe. Test with the small and trust in the small. That when you pick a fish, from that time you decided it's going to survive and I take all the pains from it. And then you decide, I put you back in the water, for you have the pleasure of the environment you wanted to be. But you can see what I see outside, if you want. I don't create the end of the life, but I give you a new view, because then the fish might want to become air breather. It gives him another chance to see more. Then, the soul decides if it's going to manifest itself in a fish or the man or free from the physicality. That's why I always said, the man becomes responsible for his environment, because when you elevate, it's the entity which decides this manifestation of existence. It's not a dream, and it's not a fairy tale anymore. Now you have the knowledge, it's the responsibility of the soul of the man to decide. Try not to confirm your existence. Try to understand your existence that can confirm the existence of your soul. This way you elevate. This way you become teachers, because you have learned yourself from the process of the conversion and confirmation. In the process of learning, put a reactor, a dynamic reactor, and sit in front of it, and release from the soul of the man. And if you have got the right, feel the strength, in the right strength, you might see water, you might see gold, you might see reactor shaking as happy, you might see the reactor flying. Because you have created the field that in respect to is feel the strength in the environment, it means flotation. It means creating, I need a new position. Then, you have created your spaceship. Then you have created materials, then you have created the emotion within yourself. This is what needs to be done. You build all the reactors, you build all the magraph systems, you build everything else. Now what you build, become the tester of your strength, of your understanding, and the tools for you to confirm the existence of your soul. Now you are looking for a tool to confirm is correct, maybe this is one way for you to do. The interaction of the field of the Earth and the Sun creates the oxygen, the hydrogen, the gold and everything else. So now you become the Sun and the rotating reactor becomes the Earth. You decide what is need to be created. Is it going to be the distance from Jupiter, and I'm only creating helium? Or am I giving enough to create cold fields, that interaction with the internal fields of the core, the core becomes cold in color? Put another material and transfer energies that with you transferring from the soul of the man, the way you feel the heat of the body of the man and the skin of the man, now you convert that field that the light bulb runs. It's so easy. Now you understand. Now you get the confirmation if you are physical and you need the confirmation. Try now 
to use the tools of what you sled to understand the process and the feel the strength and operation of the soul to convert back into the conditions which you enjoy and the matter state of the core or the copper wire or the gans is happy to be in that let's together make gold let's together make water let's together make peace let's together make water that there is no need for thirst those of you who think you have discovered a way to create water or peace through dynamic reactors you're so far from reality because you never understood that the soul of the man creates that you don't need to go you have to elevate the soul of the world people who you teach to understand the strength of their soul and it takes no time, doesn't need no reactor, doesn't need no position. Those of you who start creating workshops, try to explain from the beginning, why I'm teaching you. That from the beginning you don't trap your knowledge seekers into a magraph, into an energy system. You explain, you teach them, talk to them, that I'm showing the end product first. Which is understanding and elevation of your soul. But I show you how your soul is created, how it works and how it comes from the matter state to confirm its existence. <laughs> you have to understand. You have no choice but to understand that the new time, the new era, the new cycle of life for man has started. And it's only you who will change. The new cycle does not know, no physician does not know, no peasant does not know anything, because all the souls are the same. You need to elevate the soul of the man, which is your soul, and make it free that the others do according to their condition understanding. Try to expand the knowledge. Try to expand your own understanding, and don't rely on the others do it for you, or do it for the others. Because if the emotion, which is the intention, is to elevate others, they move to receive what you like to give. Not you enforce, but the choice. And this is the most important thing. If you kill yourself, you commit suicide, you're responsible for your soul in respect to your physicality. If one kills you, he's a murderer. That's the difference. But that end is the end of the same cycle. You have to be the giver unconditionally, without being, forcing, enforcing the elements of the physicality to confirm your understanding. We create conditions, because all these things we do, is like that nano making, that gans making, that uh, fields to show. The systems we set up, the factories we set up, the product we set up, at the end of it, is we feed so much of this energy, these fields, in different dimensions, the man comes across it in the supermarket, drinking it, wearing it, whatever, that we unknowingly, without him knowing, give him enough to elevate his soul. It's not the purpose to feed him, it's not the purpose to satisfy his hunger or thirst or clothing. It's in a hidden way, the story of the cow, the king, the prince and the doctor. I've said many times. The prince 
wanted to be slaughtered because he was a cow. They brought all the physicians and no, he wanted to be killed because he was a cow. The wise physician came and says, okay, he put a nose around his neck and he started putting severity. He says, you're a cow, I have to feed you, you're too bony. I need meat to sell. And he fed him slowly. That then one day he said, why is a noose around my neck? I'm not a cow, I'm not an animal. He said, that was the whole purpose. This is the way I teach you. I always told you what I'm going to do with you, what you were left to hear. I'll feed you through supermarkets, I'll feed the soul of the man through clothing, through a spaceship, to every means that one second the soul of the man has elevated the point that I have it all. This is the way I teach. This is the way in the universe we always teach. We give bit by bit. We don't wait to see the results immediately. We allow the soul to understand to change the emotion, which means the interaction of the field of the soul with the environment of the others that they come in interaction with. You go to a bed with a man or a woman you hate, and you make love to, and the same body goes to bed with another man or a woman, and he takes the pleasure of making love to. It's the same body. It's the state of the emotion. And this is what most of people don't understand. Emotion is the manifestation of the soul in the dimension of physicality. But the body is the same. And the soul is the same. Why one is the point of hate and the interaction with the other is the point of pleasure. Why do we hate to be touched by somebody and we enjoy the touch of another? It's the same body. It's the same soul. It's the condition of interaction of the field from outside. Why do we change the love to a man and a woman to the hate for that man? It's the same body, it's the same environment. Isn't it that we have moved the condition of the soul in the interaction with the field, or they have changed the condition, that now it interacts in different strength in the dimension of the man, or we have added something to it out of the expectation of the emotion. Then you understand. From now on, teaching is not with the cores. Now the teaching is, is to be the core of the soul of the man. Because then, in the space, you will not commit any crime. You will not do anything wrong. You understand the totality. And instead of me releasing you as a kindergarten children in the universe, I release you as professors as well educated, as the saviors, as proud to be from the planet Earth, as proud to carry the amino acid of the creation, which led to the creation of the soul of the man. They will not say, the wild people are here, they say, the educated man is here, the man of soul, the creation of peace is here. But, we had to go through the souls, the same feed you, that you don't feel like a cow, but you become the soul of the man. The physicality is the same. Then you become the soul of the Creator. Then the man evolves. Then we become the true man of the universe. We have opened the door. It's for the man to take that step. You don't need the speech. You need the ship of the soul of the man.
and that's all it is. If you were looking for us to take you in the universe and show you the universal community, we have brought the universal community, the soul of the man. It's him who has to understand the difference. It has to become inclusive, not exclusivity of physicality, but become inclusive of the soul of the universe. Thank you very much for today. I have to leave. Hopefully, we we'll see each other next week. And try to understand the strength of your soul. And try to be a giver from it, not the enforcer. Try to create condition that it brings peace to your soul. Not for you to see, to get the satisfaction of emotional peace. Thank you very much for today. Bye. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kesh. Thank you. Okay, we'll end today's teaching on the, that note. And this has been the 195th Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, October 26, 2017. We'll see you next week at this same time and place. Go ahead, plant. <laughs>